Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and this is Savory Corn Pudding. Now if you're not familiar, savory corn pudding is this classic southern side dish that lives somewhere in between like cream corn and cornbread consistency wise. Flavor wise, it's got a great balance of sweet and savory and with all the eggs and the dairy involved, it's definitely a custard or a pudding. It's got big time flavor and it's become one of my new favorite side dishes. So first things first, we got kind of a double grilled situation here. We're gonna be using the YS 1500 Outlander, the pellet grill. It's running at 500 degrees right now so that we can get our corn roasted off. Then we're gonna go make the pudding then it's gonna go back into the grill. So we're cooking inside of the wood fired oven attachment. I'm gonna throw down about eight ears of corn. If you got bigger ones, these are the pre-cut ones. So if you've got like the ones that you just shucked yourself, maybe six or so will get you there. But we just wanna get these into the oven, get some color on them, get them softened up, and then we can make our pudding with them. Just under 20 minutes here, you can see we've got some great color on this corn. It's softened up. We're gonna pull this out. Now we're not gonna to throw together this pudding quite yet because the corn's so hot. We don't wanna cook the eggs, but what we can do is trim it off the cob here and let it cool down. So we're gonna build this pudding in the food processor here. Get all the corn cut off the cobs. Should have about four cups total. And then from here, it's just everyone in the pool. Let's get the rest of the ingredients. We're adding four eggs to the food processor. Get a cup of heavy cream, half cup of buttermilk. You got your custard base there. Three tablespoons of flour. It's gonna help thicken things up. Quarter cup of sugar, so it's not all savory, but a little bit balanced. A tablespoon of baking powder to give it some fluff. And we need a little fat, some butter in there. And we're gonna do about one tablespoon of our Lone Star brisket seasoning, and this is gonna really amp up that savory portion. So I don't want this totally smooth. We want it to have some texture. We want it to have uh, some chunks of corn in it still. So we're just gonna hit this real briefly. That's it, like 10, 15 seconds max. If you look inside here, it's broken down, but obviously very liquidy. That's gonna set up as it bakes. Before we get this pudding into the skillet, we're gonna grease it up with some butter. The goal here is not just to make sure that it doesn't stick to the skillet, but for this butter to actually kind of fry the edges uh, and really brown the outside so you get some texture on your corn pudding. And we're going back into the wood-fired oven to make sure we can get some of that browning on the top. Now this has been in for about 20 minutes now. Look at that. We got nice texture and browning all across the top and checking the internal temperature. Once it passes 180 internal, it's fully done. And you can see it starting to pull away from the side so you know we've got some good browning around the edges too. All right, time to serve it up. Now, I'm going to be honest, there's not a whole lot of churching up this, uh, this dish right here. This is the kind of food that's perfectly comfortable being served with a food scoop, and that's what it is. But the one thing that I do like to add to this is just a little drizzle of a little bit of maple syrup just to set up all that savoriness. Mm. Such a unique texture. It's not exactly pudding. It's not exactly bread pudding. It's certainly not cornbread but there's a lot of texture in there because of those corn kernels. And you can really taste that fresh corn in there. A great balance of sweet and savory between the brisket rub that's in there, that little bit of maple syrup on the top. Classic side dish. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out atbbq.com for all the products featured in today's video. If you enjoy the recipe, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below. Let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to atbbq.com slash the sauce. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.